Magnus Carlsen is arguably the best chess player to step on the planet winning nearly all the games he goes on to play. But what happens when he faces a chess master after he's had just five shots of alcohol and is extremely drunk upon starting the game? Magnus's opponent Damien Riviere starts the game with e4, which Magnus drunkenly responds to with c5 the Sicilian defense as Damien plays his pawn to a3. The crowd starts cheering for him. They have no idea what Magnus is about to do to this poor guy. Magnus plays his pawn to g6, and after a few more pieces are developed, Damien retrieves his bishop back to a2 playing a more passive approach. Magnus develops his knight, and Damien plays a 4, a great move which even Magnus quickly applauds after blocking white's a4. Pawn a set of pawns are traded off, after which Damien develops his knight preparing to castle, which Magnus responds to poorly, with a 3 giving Damien the upper hand. Damien castles, and as both players bring their pieces onto better squares, Magnus decides to castle queenside. But he's so drunk that he can't even hold the pieces correctly with limited time, and being drunk, Magnus is bound to mess up, and Damien knows this playing his knight back to d1 rerouting his knight towards better squares. Magnus attacks Damien's bishop and starts joking around before Damien retreats his bishop moving away from the attack. But Magnus immediately strikes again by moving his pawn to f5, after which he takes another sip of his beer, happy with how his position is looking. Damien plays his bishop to h4, pinning Magnus's knight to his rook, but Magnus just moves his rook to the middle, making Damien's bishop pretty useless after playing his knight to e3, allowing Magnus to push his pawn deeper, creating a beautiful pawn chain. Damien attacks Magnus's queen and knight, forcing a trade once again evening up the position. Magnus is the one starting to pressure Damien here with many of his pieces getting closer and closer to Damien's. King. Damien still has a chance though, with not too much time on the clock. Anything could happen. Foran takes Magnus's bishop, which Magnus recaptures with his rook. Damien now tries creating some action in the center by moving his pawn to d4 with the idea of after trading off pawns, having his queen attacking both of Magnus's rooks. But after some calculation, Magnus qu attacks Magnus's queen, after which Magnus drunkily mutters at Damien before checking him with his queen Damien blocks this check with his rook, which Magnus sort of laughs at before playing a huge blunder. Rook d8, while Magnus had a big advantage up till this point, it all vanishes after Damien places queen to c3, threatening to take Magnus's pawn with check. Magnus allows this, which is another mistake, taking Damien's knight, which after Damien checks, he is able to recapture with his rook, well before Magnus had all his pieces lined towards Damien's king. Now Damien has multiple pieces coming closer to Magnus's king. Queen trade is played, and both Magnus and Damien have a completely equal position. But unfortunately for Damien, this is an endgame, and Magnus Carlsen is widely regarded as the best in-game player to ever have lived. But funnily enough, after attacking Damien's rook, which Damien moves away, Magnus plays a mistake f3, which after bishop d5 is actually winning for Damien, as it is threatening a scary check on Magnus's king, which is extremely dangerous for Magnus, and Damien finds this, which leads Magnus to another deadly blunder, moving his king to b8. Damien is now completely winning if he is able to play this well. He will beat the world champion after checking Magnus's king, taking a free pawn. Damien moves his rook to h7, threatening to take another pawn, but Magnus uses his endgame god brain to find a move that attacks Damien's king, forcing Damien to respond accurately. It is in these types of positions where Magnus's opponents start to crumble, and as Damien responded with g3, Magnus knew exactly what to do, laying his rook to f8 threatening to check Damien's king by moving his pawn to f2. Damien responds to this by moving his rook to a7, trying to check Magnus's king and win his rook. Magnus responds to this instantly, though moving his rook up away from the threat. Damien moves his other rook up, after which Magnus checks him and takes a pawn. Damien only has one move he can play here, rook a8, which will allow Damien to forever check Magnus's king as he has nowhere else to move. Damien moves his rook back to h1, and it is in this position where Magnus knows he can win the game starting with knight g4. Magnus brings his knight into the position and tries creating some problems, but Magnus has already figured everything out, checking Damien, forcing his king away, completely destroying Damien after a very well-fought match, and with that, the players shake hands, giving drunk Magnus another dominant win.